So this evening I'm in our Hyundai Ionic. It's a 2020 um, 38 kilowatt hour. It's done 21,000 miles. And today we had the dreaded low coolant message come up. Um, but of course I've taken the phone out now and it's gone. But uh, this issue has been affecting a lot of these cars and today we had it on ours as well. Sorry it's dark but I'm uh, filming this on my phone and uh, I wouldn't have another opportunity in daylight. So fortunately I've got some of the um, big SC1 coolant left over from when I changed the coolant on our previous 28 kilowatt hour vehicle so I can top it up because Mel's already told me that this one actually does have low coolant. So looking at the bottle as you can see it is on the minimum mark yet yeah, I only did the other video about the coolant on these cars um, two weeks ago and the coolant was on the maximum so at some point uh, obviously today earlier today that has lost that coolant so does this have the coolant crystallizing problem like the others have and I'm wondering if the coolant has crystallised, does that then cause the actual liquid to drop? So I'm going to have to send this in. It's a right pain. Uh, I've got to send this to Hyundai, get it done under warranty. I could do the job myself, but why bother when, if I did this myself, I'd have to pay for the coolant. And that is probably going to be 80 quid's worth because it's expensive stuff, this special ev coolant not that it's that special but anyway um and then they've got the labor and everything when uh, hyundai will do it uh, under warranty so at least i can top this back up and we can carry on driving for now but clearly this has got the crystallization problem that many other people are experiencing so i'll just explain what that is if you don't know so these um 38 kilowatt hour vehicles have battery cooling so you've got um electric motor cooling here like the 28s did but they've also got an additional circuit which cools the battery with this coolant which the 28 kilowatt hour models didn't have they had an air cooled battery the 28s were utterly bulletproof the 38s are having this issue they do run a different coolant i think uh, certainly they were they're putting bsc1 coolant in them for the last um year or so that cars have been having the issue but whether it was the BSC1 coolant from the factory I don't know but many people have been having low coolant issues and the solution was was previously a flush and put BSC1 coolant in however those people have had repeated issues so more recently Hyundai have changed the procedure and there's a new recall out to sort this out on all the cars now and instead of using BSC1 they're now using a new coolant called BSC2. What the difference is, I don't know. And they've also changed the flushing procedure and there's now a special tool. Uh, I would love to know what this special tool is. I would imagine it is just uh, some sort of clamp that allows you to attach an airline to the cooling system to blow the coolant out. That's, that's why I'm sort of imagining it probably is, or maybe it's a, something that sucks the coolant out because these systems, these cooling systems, don't drain particularly well as I've shown on another video. And to get the coolant out of the battery, particularly if it's got um, crystallized particles in, you're gonna need some force. So whether this special tool is blowing water through the battery or just blowing air through the battery to get all the rubbish out, I don't know. I would love to know what that was. Um, and that also stops me from doing the job, really. I might as well send it in and do it. But certainly they've now given up fitting, uh, well, refitting BSC1 coolant in these Ionic 38s and they've gone to this new coolant. Um, as to whether that's going to crystallise, who knows? I suppose it's too early to tell. But they've clearly had an issue with coolant on these cars. But they've never have on the 28s. Um, so I would imagine... I can only imagine that the cooling lines around the battery are much narrower and hence the coolant is struggling to get through there and it gums up and crystallises up. But anyway, I haven't experienced it myself. This car has only just done it. So um, maybe I'll find out more when this car goes in and I'll see if I can speak to the workshop tech. But for now, at least I've got 
the coolant. My God, that lid is tight. Oh, that is solid. Absolutely. God, flip, is that under pressure? Why won't that come off? I'm putting all my strength on there. Jesus, that does not want to come undone. Well, I was going to top it up. But I'm wondering... Is that under pressure for some reason? I don't know. It does has got a sticker on there. Do not take it off by the looks of it. Consult a mechanic. Well, I've got my mechanic hat on today. But that's different to the 28 kilowatt hour cap. But the bottle looks the same. But yeah, the sticker sort of is indicating that it's not something that the user can do. But why... Why won't that release? Is it because <laughs> I've turned it the wrong way? What an idiot. Oh well, that's a strange cap. I should have just deleted that bit of footage and not shown my inabilities there. But anyway, don't hide anything. I'm quite happy to show... I'm an idiot and I don't know how to take a cap off. There we go. Didn't take much. But this stuff is flipping expensive. That's a two litre bottle. And it's about 20, 20, 22 pounds. About 10 pounds a litre. So that little bit I've put in is probably, I don't know, 50p's worth. Yeah, it's a left-handed thread cap, isn't it? That's why. That's why it's throwing me. Um, so anyway, I hope that keeps us going for a while because uh, we've got Easter bank holiday now and we're not going to get the car booked in for a little while now. So we got this 38 in the uh, end of November. Um, so what's that? Uh, December, January, February, March. So we've had this four months now, uh, coming up to the fifth month. Yet our Ionic 28 we had for three or four years and the only issue I had with that was a wheel sensor. And as many of you will know who watch my videos, that had done 102,000 miles. This car we got at 15,000 miles and already we've had two rear door handles break and now we've got this coolant issue. Uh, the door handles I bodged up myself so it hasn't gone into Hyundai yet, but ultimately that will be a warranty claim to get them changed. Uh, but now it's going to go in to have this coolant flush. So uh, while I do love these Hyundai Ionics electrics, um, the 38s aren't as reliable as the 28s. So if you've got an Ionic 38 and you've had this uh, warranty work done, um, if you can shed any light on what this special tool is that they do or what this new procedure they do um, to fix it, then let me know in the comments below. Uh, I know a lot of people have had it done previously and they were still repeatedly using that uh, original coolant, the BSC-1, and the problem came back again. But more recently, I think in the last three months or so, they've changed their procedures and they now uh, use this new coolant, the BSC-2. So if you've had that done... If you can shed any light on what their new procedure is or what this special tool is, I would really like to know. But anyway, we're now in the same boat and we're going to have to get this booked in. So that's it. I apologise it's dark and uh, there's nothing visually to look at. So it's a pretty boring video, but I thought I'll just capture this because uh, we've now had it on this car. And I don't know whether I said, but this car's done 21,410 miles. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you on the next video.